Hey there, Bracey here. So uh, today I'm doing my vlog entry out in beautiful Babylon, Long Island, New York. Um, I'm I'm out of the out of the house, but you know you got to stick with it. You got to keep keep up the vlog. So um, what do I what do I have to share now? Um, yeah, so it's been an interesting couple of days. Uh, I already explained that uh, unfortunately we didn't make it into the accelerator. Uh, I've been working on the business plan, pulling together elements for this new venture that I might be doing with the Glimpse Group, which is, which will be really exciting. Um, it'll be utilizing kind of the foundation that I started to build for the platform um, and getting that out, up and out. Um, and uh, man, there was actually something that I was really excited to share with with this, but uh, I, I, I can't remember right now. Uh, I wonder if you can hear if you can hear these it sounds like crickets out there uh, outside my my house back where I usually do the vlogs uh, cicadas are coming out and I don't know if you know what cicadas are but they're very interesting creatures uh, uh, they have this very interesting gestation period where they're larva on the ground and they come up only a certain time a year like once every seven years or once every 13 years is different for different groups of cicadas depending on where they are in the world um, and uh, it just so happens that there is this puzzle out that's called cicada I don't know if you've heard about it but uh, it's this puzzle that came out in I believe like 2011 2012 sometime um, it's this really hard puzzle to solve and if you solve it you become part of this group and they just they released a second puzzle which is called cicada 3301 um, and it was really fascinating uh, because ultimately at the heart of everything that they were doing uh, is what I wanted to do in in virtual reality when I first started getting involved if you ever heard of Ready, Ready Player One if you read the book or you saw the movie uh, you know that there was this Easter egg hunt that was built into this VR experience where hidden within the game uh, there was this chance to solve clues and uh, ultimately own the company that was responsible for all the VR creation. I had kind of fallen in love with the idea of doing something like that, but not, not the way that they did it. Because my issue with how they did the Easter egg kind of thing um, Easter eggs and finding keys and portals and worlds and clues is that all the information was built around some arbitrary 80s like love of 80s nostalgia kind of um, so it's like just finding clues in old video games finding clues uh, uh, through old movie references and stuff like that and to me that's not really that valuable but when you start to think about it through the lens of um, getting a bunch of people excited for a goal but the journey that you have them go through is is kind of educational no matter what happens whether they leave it whether they solve the, the puzzle or not uh, they've learned so much and possibly made so many relationships that by the end the value is already apparent like the value of the journey uh, 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 was it revealed itself through the journey which is ultimately it's about the journey not the destination Ultimately, you need a destination that's good enough to pull you on a journey, but if you're paying attention, the journey is the real reward. Reward. Uh, so that that is what I was inspired to do, uh, uh, creating this kind of puzzle game that it wasn't something that necessarily revealed itself to you unless you were a curious type of person. So if you went, you bought a game, one of our games, you went in and you went in for one experience, but you happened to play around, you happened to look around, then all of a sudden you found like something that was just a little out of place and then it sent you on a journey into something else that you uncovered that ultimately that journey would pull, pull you through more than just a, a game for entertainment, but actually brought you into an experience where you were getting some kind of amazing reward and you wanted to pull some, some other people in because the mystery was there. Um, and I f to find out that Cicada actually started doing something like this in 2012. Uh, ultimately, the, they lean more, more on the cryptography side of things, um, which I've never really been too heavy into, but it does intrigue me because I love puzzles and I love to figure stuff out. And uh, I, I feel like that's something that I could get into 
uh, given the right the right circumstances. So I'm kind of glad that I, I didn't really know about it because I wouldn't have developed every other part of my life. So, I mean, this is this is all to say. Uh, I don't even know what it's to say, but it's interesting to see that I I had an idea and uh, to see that somebody else had done it in a way that I wouldn't have necessarily done it, but uh, uh, but just kind kind of cool to see how how their version of it kind of formed and seeing ultimately the result that I I would like to go through or go. I would like to have uh, come to fruition, which is people on this journey meeting each other, learning so much more than they would have, and and feeling like they are better for for going through that journey. Um, the the big story, I believe, is the name of the YouTube channel, and they did this whole four part uh, documentary docu series, and they they kind of hint at the end of the fourth one, like there's about to be more. There might be more already. I don't know. I don't know what they're what they're doing with the whole thing, but it's interesting. All right, um, I just wanted to make sure that I got something good good out today. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.